Hi everybody, Tyson here again. This is Common Foods at Home After Shift Drink. Uh, today, I have a buddy of mine, Chef Curtis Young. Curtis and I work at a steakhouse together at the uh, local casino and uh, been good friends since then. Um, Curtis, do you want to tell a little bit about yourself? Um, I have worked as a cook or a chef for the past nine years. Um, just recently became a sous chef for the first time. Um, yeah, I just really enjoy the industry, the people, and well, working with Tyson. There we go. I only bring on people that like me on the show Hopefully. because it'd be weird. Uh, okay, so first question. You ready for some questions? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, first off, we're drinking uh, hard seltzers of some kind. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, first question. Uh, here we go. Can salmon be pink in the middle? I'm guessing like after it's cooked. Can salmon be pink in the middle? Um, I personally would be 100% for that. I think having a little bit of that silky smooth right in the middle of the salmon is really nice. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit of pink is okay. It can't be so undercooked that it's inedible, or that it's raw, raw. Right. Um, but no, having having a softer texture in the middle of the salmon, I think is perfectly acceptable. Right, and, and I absolutely agree. Uh, unless you're eating salmon soup, like sashimi or sushi wise. Oh, for sure. Uh, mostly I like cooking my salmon to about medium, because when you cook it well done, it does get drier. Salmon's one of those fit, meaty fish that get dry real quick. And when it's super, super raw, it's like, it's chillatinous. It's yeah. got a weird texture. Oh, for sure. And the flavor is, is definitely different. My biggest thing is, uh, as soon as you get that white albumin forming at the edges, mm -hmm. you gotta cut the heat, end it, just put it off to the side. Cause when that albumin starts coming out, that means your fish is approaching 140. Right, yes. Yeah, so, too. so for for people that don't know what albumin is, uh, when you cook salmon, uh, you'll notice that as you start cooking, especially when you're cooking at a very high heat, um, it will naturally start secreting this white white goo? foamy goo. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's, it's like it, it's it's meaning it's getting overcooked. You never really want that, but it does. Uh, naturally happen. So al the, the the white albumin, al what was that word again? Albumin. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, is uh, a good indicator when cooking. For sure. Alright, uh, okay. Uh, there, this is going to be a two-part question right here. Alright. Alright. What is it like having a bad team in a kitchen? It's the worst thing ever. <laughs> it's, it's, it's awful. Um, so bad. I'd rather uh, have a bad family than a bad work team. <laughs> Wow! Wow! I, I, I mean, that's, yeah. that's I mean, that's truth. That's absolute truth. So, so with <laughs> with family, there's there's at least a little bit of you don't have to depend on family, but a bad sure. team in a kitchen when you're depending on everybody else, that could ruin a kitchen. That could make life miserable in a kitchen. It'll it'll sink your success for a night or a week or a month. Uh, or during the entire run of your kitchen. Yeah, no, you need a solid team. You need people who are comfortable with each other. Um, and it takes time to build that rapport. You oh, know, yeah, definitely. actually be comfortable with, with the team that you've introduced yourself into. Because um, let's be honest, usually when you start working at a kitchen, you're not starting in a brand new kitchen. That's you're starting right. in a team that's already been well established, that knows each other, that has built that rapport. Um, and it makes a huge difference in, in how you interact with each other. Right. No, no, that, it's very true. Like, uh, we, we've had, working together, several bad... Bad nights. Bad nights <laughs> where, where we were, we, we didn't have that, 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 what, what that old mesh. People, that yeah. mesh, yeah. That rapport, not so much a rapport, but like that lining where we're all on the same page and we're ready to bust out food after food after food. Or you have that one toxic person in there that just makes life miserable because you're trying to work with that person, but that person is not working with you at all. It's no. either their way or the highway, and it's like that's not a team effort. We we've had selfish right. people in 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 a team atmosphere, when, and yeah, you just get <laughs> so angry and you hold your tongue. 
You hold you your tongue to. so bad. You try to. Oh, that's very Remember true. Remember that there, time I like snapped on dude because he like told me to. Ah, eh, never mind. Yeah, there, 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 there were times we, we <laughs> pressure, pressure. Can even go we a lot snapped on each other. I once threw tongs down at his feet. I was just like, "Hey, yeah. you're not feeling well. Go home." I'm like, and you would ask me like, "Oh, what's going on?" I'm like, "All this," and just threw my tongs <laughs> down. And left. I was toxic that day. I was horrible. You know? Uh, we made but, it through that service, though. Yeah, we, we did. Uh, so, on the uh, different front, right. what, is, uh, what is it like working in, uh, with a good team in the kitchen? It's beautiful. Um, you have good communication. That, that's a key in any kind of relationship you have, whether it's business, uh, your coworkers, your family, um, your significant other. Having good communication is essential for a good relationship. Um, and a lot of times that can be misplaced. Mm -hmm. Like there, there can be lapses in communication, but having a good team means that you're communicating properly, effectively, frequently, uh, and you can't really beat that. No, no, no. And it also gets to a point where you're, uh, when you're in a good team, where you can actually bring down the communication. Oh yeah. When 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 like let's say you were working saute and I'm working grill and we have to operate together and come up at the same time yeah. and something gets fired and they'll ask me, Hey, how long in this uh, T bone? And he already knows four minutes. Four minutes yeah. and I'm like, Four minutes I'll be up there too. Boom. You know? When when yeah. you got that timing down where you know the other side and the other people around you and you know how they work mm -hmm. and how well it works. I'm I'm gonna tell it right. It's tell tell you right now. It's family. It is brotherhood. Yeah. It is it is it is teamwork. It is it is probably the most enlightening and best and almost I, heavenly. I would say. I'd rather have to a be. good team than a good family. <laughs> <laughs> well if, said. Well if, said. I um, mean, we work. We spend more time with these people than we do yeah. with our families at home. And you can accomplish. Uh, a ridiculous amount of work with a good team. Uh, so much, so much, especially when everybody has the same mindset, same feel and everything. Yeah, and kitchen. even if you don't view things the same way, just having that kind of flow where you understand that each other may not view things the same way, but at least you view them close enough to make it flow and work together. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, well, it really makes that difference. Thank you, Curtis, for uh, answering a few questions. Yeah, Hopefully we'll right. have, uh, sure. have you on again. This has been Common Foods at Home. If you like that video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.